Marriage is a commitment for life in which people can find and bring out the best in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise. promise to care for you with love and friendship, to support and comfort you through good times and troubled times, promise to care for you with love and patience, to respect and cherish you, and to be faithful always. These promises I make to you for the rest of my life. I promise to care for you with love and friendship, to support and comfort you through good times and troubled times. I promise to care for you with love and patience, to respect and cherish you, and to be faithful always. These promises I make to you for the rest of my life. And I'm Adori, the younger sister of the lovely bride, Amber. Or as I call her, DT, which means second sister in Chinese. As sisters, we love each other with all our heart and fight with all our might. <laughs> we share our hopes and dreams as well as each other's heartbreaks and tears. Kevin, take care of DT like Papa took care of Mama. And DT, take care of Kevin, like Mama did for Papa. On behalf of our family, Kevin, welcome to the Habanas. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm sure everyone will agree, Amber looks absolutely stunning. The bar has now been set. I expect this most days. <laughs> Without the budget. <laughs> 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 Something fantastic happened. Kev found Amber. Amber had been searching 36 years and travelled three continents to find the elusive Mr. Wright. I have to say though how happy I am for them both. They're a great couple. The, the best news for Kev is that Amber is part of our lives. He will always be, have a friend with, as a, with us. To the happy couple. my privilege and my pleasure to declare that you are now legally married, husband and wife, and you may seal it with a kiss. So on behalf of my wife and I, it's the first time I've said out loud, wife. 
I'd like to thank everyone for coming. It's, uh, it's not been a close to home wedding for sure. We've all uh, made a journey to get here, some more than others, but still, I appreciate everyone for being here. Uh, and to Amber's family back in the Philippines, when you watch this video, it's a shame you couldn't make it. We'll see you soon and we love you very much. And Amber, you have been amazing to me and for me. I'd like to thank you personally, well obviously, but uh, I'd like to thank you for that. <laughs> and you know I don't praise without criticism. <laughs> <laughs> you could have found me 10 years ago. <laughs> Come on. I may be going back home to the Philippines soon, but my heart will always, a part of my heart will always stay with you. Remember, our home in the Gupan is always open to you and Kevin and my future nieces and nephews. So there are of course some people that can't be here today with us. Uh, so I'd like to raise a glass to them. There's two special people that can't be here. Amber's father, Ambrosia Habanis, aka Bob, and Stephen Scard, aka Scardi. And unfortunately, there has been some sad news today with the passing of my grandfather at 12.30 today. So uh, I'd like to just raise a glass to them. I'm sure they're all smiling down on us tonight. So cheers. 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 And I said it'd be short and sweet, so again, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. It's an honor and a privilege that you're all here tonight. Thank you, and I hope you have a great night, because we sure as hell are going to have one. So, cheers. Cheers. Sometimes sell my heart, trade it for nickels and dimes I could leave it, stop believing But I feel the wind remind me I don't have to